I'm Linnea Farish, and I'm one of the speech language pathologists at Bynum School. Um, today, I'm going to teach you guys about another strategy called communication te temptation, and it kind of goes hand in hand with sabotage, which sounds horrible, but it's not, I promise. Um, so, these strategies, communication temptation and sabotage, go hand in hand because you're setting up a routine that your child normally participates in or a, a play activity that your child likes to participate in, but you're kind of sabotaging it so that they have to use their words and their language to talk to you about it. Now this works if kids are vocally speaking or if they're using a device to communicate or if they're using sign language to communicate, you can use it for all of these things. So for example, if you have a train set, um, you're gonna sabotage it first by holding all of the train pieces in your lap or putting them on a high shelf where your kid cannot get them but can see that they're there. Once you do this, you will um, ask your kid, do you wanna play with the train or do you want a train set? If they're freaking out, um, you can just hold, grab a piece out and hold it up and you can tell them what. That's the sign for what. what and see if they will sign or try and say that. If they do not, you can, um, I want you to keep holding it and you can kind of decrease to a word that they know. If they know the word yellow or they know the word more, you can ask them to say that word instead of a harder word like want or train track or something like that. Um, once your child responds to that, go ahead and reward them with the train track so they can put the train track on then that you're gonna wait again. You're using sabotage, you're holding all the things. Uh, communication temptation is again, you're holding it up, you're tempting them with this and they have to communicate in order to get it. So those are some super simple strategies. One of my favorite uh, things to do this with is actually snack time. If kids really like a snack that they're eating or they really like to eat, give them two, three, four pieces of their snack and then have them sign more or ask for the specific snack using their words, but you have it out, out of reach so that they do have to ask you for it. Um, so that's communication, temptation, and sabotage. If you have any questions, you are welcome to email me at lfarish, F-A-R-I-S-H, at bynumschool.org. Thanks so much, have a great day.